right, y'all. Sit down. Lie down. Squat down. But I'm back. Bell tells. So here we go. We're going to do chicken spaghetti casserole. So here's what you're going to need. You're going to need, I've already deboned the rotisserie chicken. I do a bag of these sweet bell peppers. You're going to need cream of chicken, a red onion, olives, diced tomatoes, rotel. Um, then I do the Vermont, 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 seriously sharp cheddar cheese. And then I do extra sharp cheddar cheese. And I do three of the portobello mushrooms for this dish. Okay, so let's get started. You're also going to need a 16 ounce uh, box of spaghetti. You don't need the 32 like I have. And then one box of the 32 ounce chicken broth. And I, okay, so I will put the chicken broth in the pot, fill up the rest with water. I do that because it gives the noodles an extra flavor. Okay, preheat that oven to 350. And I've got the water, the fire turned on, and we're going to bring it to a boil. So right now we're going to go do our sauce. All right, I'm going to start washing the bell peppers, and then we're going to move them over to the frying pan. I totally forgot. It's been a while since I made this, but yes, you're going to need a frying pan as well. All right, so I've got the bell peppers chopped up, and now I'm going to chop up the red onion. I know some people call it a purple onion. I call it a red onion, potato, potato. So I'm going to chop that up and put that in here, and then we're going to take it over to the frying pan. And why it is frying, then we're going to chop up the um, mushrooms. All right, so we got the red onion in there, along with all the, the sweet bell peppers. We're going to take it over to the frying pan. All right, so I'm going to add olive oil, and I just just cover the bottom of the pan, to be honest. All right, so I've got it in the pan, and we're going to start sauteing it. I'm going to cover it up and just let it cook for a little bit while I chop up the mushrooms. You know, I was thinking while I was cook, chopping up the mushrooms, and I thought, you know, why not just add a little bit of white wine? Probably a cup of it, maybe? I don't know. I just pour it in so I'm like, mm, good with it. No, maybe that's half a cup. Somewhere around there. Okay, so I just added the portobello mushrooms all chopped up. I'm going to cover it. We're going to let this cook for a few minutes till it, it cooks down. Okay, so before I put these in the pot of the boiling water, I break them down into three sections. Okay, so next we're going to put the olives in the colander and drain them. So I drain and rinse the olives. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to move over to, um, actually, I'm going to go ahead and start chopping them up, and I'll put them in the bowl. Then we will add the other ingredients. All right, so that's the olives chopped up. The next thing I'm going to do is add the two cans of cream of chicken. Okay, so that's the cream of chicken. The next thing I'm going to do is add the diced tomatoes and then the rotel. Okay, so that's with the tomatoes. Now we're going to take the stuff off the stove, drain it for a second, while it's draining, I'm gonna add the cheese to the mixture and then I may add a little bit more wine. Okay, so that's what the mixture's looking like right now. Now I'm gonna add the vegetables to the mixture. All right, so I added the white wine, which I had a half a cup. So now we're gonna get the noodles into the baking dish. You're going to need to spray the baking dish with um, non-stick spray so the noodles don't stick. and it, when you do it, you don't have to do a whole lot. Just enough to cover the bottom just in case, like the sides, just in case it doesn't get completely coated. All right, now that that's sprayed, I'm going to start adding the noodles to the bottom, and then I think I'll coat the chicken on top. I do it differently every time. This time we're going to do noodles, layer it with the chicken, then the mixture. All right, so we got the noodles in the baking dish. Now we are going to layer it up with the rotisserie chicken. All right, so that's the chicken. Now I'm adding the mixture on top of it. All right, so that's the mixture on top of the chicken and the noodles. The next thing we're gonna do is add the sharp uh, shredded cheese and the Vermont sharp shredded cheese. I went ahead and added a little bit more. I like mine really cheesy. You don't have to, it's up to you. And a quick reminder also, um, 
the recipe, everything you need, and my suggestions will be in the description. All right, y'all. I'm going to pop this in the oven. Uh, again, remember to preheat it 350. I'm going to put it in for 40 minutes. And then the final product will be in my shorts video. All right. Please and thank yous are a must. Smile never hurt no one. Be cognizant of the things you say and how you say them because kindness is priceless. Y'all have a good week. Bye-bye.